This was a dangerous creature that came out of the depths of the sea, which could swallow humans. To understand its strength and the way of attack, the professor kept this mysterious creature in a big glass tank. Everyone was watching its movements carefully, and then something happened, which surprised everyone. The creature that was sleeping for centuries suddenly woke up as soon as it came in contact with water. Its body started moving slowly, and then many tentacles came out of its body. Seeing this, everyone became silent out of fear. To understand its angry reaction more closely, the professor wore white gloves and put his hand in the tank, but then something shocking happened. As soon as that creature sensed the danger, it divided itself into two parts. The professor, who had been studying it all his life, was also stunned to see this. As soon as the professor was trying to come out of this surprise, that creature suddenly attacked him. The professor quickly pulled his hand back, but by then that creature had bitten him. But no one had any idea that the real danger was about to begin now. The next day, a girl, out of curiosity, quietly entered the professor's room. She searched every corner, but that mysterious creature was nowhere to be seen. Then, she saw two shadows outside the room. She got scared and hid in a nearby cupboard. Through a small hole in the cupboard, she saw a strange sight. The professor was pouring boiling water on himself. Then a female professor entered the room. The professor's eyes were fixed on that woman. He had no idea that he was so close to death now. The very next moment, the professor grabbed her throat with both hands and turned into a terrible monster. Streams of blood started flowing in the room. Both the people hiding in the cupboard trembled after seeing all this. And then a woman's dead body fell in the cupboard. Out of fear, both of them ran away from there. The man whom everyone considered to be decent and sensible was actually a cannibalistic monster. Arav quickly took out a knife from his pocket and cut one finger of that monster. As soon as the cut finger fell on the ground, it started running here and there and then climbed on a girl's body. The professor retaliated. He opened his mouth and a transparent creature came out from inside it. Arav got scared and he stabbed a pencil lying nearby in the eye of that creature. The professor in agony pushed the creature and it collided with the tank. The tank got shattered. Arav was stunned to see all this. White liquid started oozing out of the professor's injured eye and his body started shaking violently. Within a few minutes, he fell on the ground. Without wasting time, Arav closed that transparent creature in a bottle and quickly left from there. But as soon as he reached the classroom, he found the behavior of the other students a bit strange. To solve this mystery, everyone was taken to a secret lab. There, Arav put that creature in a cage and poured some drops of water on it. As soon as the water fell, that creature immediately became active and entered the body of a rat kept nearby. It completely controlled the rat. All the students were stunned to see this. Then, Arav put some sugar on it and then a miracle happened. That creature immediately returned to its original form.